M. Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Our guest today, our good friend all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, please welcome Dylan Jacobson. How are you, Dylan? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Well, welcome to Kicks 96. Welcome to the 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 couch. Thank you. All right. It's this comfy. Is, it's... Th it's very deep. Is I love. I feel like I'm all the way on the couch, and we still got half of it behind me. I've never fallen this <laughs> far into this thing before. Yeah. But um, now, Dylan, I've known you for a couple, two, three years yeah. now. Uh, we met at the country radio seminar in Nashville uh, some time ago. Um, now, you're not originally from Nashville. You're actually from the. What was it, was it? Does it qualify as the Midwest? What is? No, I'm from Seattle. Seattle. No, that's right. You're yeah. from. You're from all the way up. Way up northwest. You just kind of have, you yeah. know what, you, this whole look with the yeah. beer, it screams like, uh, like I don't know, like North Dakota to me or yeah. Minnesota. Like Viking. There we go. <laughs> or Bigfoot or something. <laughs> like that. So I'm looking yeah. at him like, wait, yeah. no, you're from Minnesota, right? Like, no, 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 yeah. you're from the Pacific. I Coast. love Minnesota, though. Really? All about the Minnesota. Shout out to him. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, Dylan Jacobson, yeah. you're like, what, two albums in now? Yes, this is the second full-length record for me. And it's called yeah. I Am. Yes. And the, the single is In America. Yeah. So right now, Dylan, Dylan is on his In America radio tour, because you, you're, you're constantly on the road. If you follow his social media, you see this guy, you do it right, man. You're always out there. You're always posting something, yeah. and something interesting and engaging. Talk to us a little bit about um, this journey that you've been on. Yeah, you know what? I mean, ever since I was a little kid, this is all I ever wanted to do for a living. And I graduated high school and literally hit the road like that summer. Me and four of my buddies hit the road and, and traveled everywhere we could playing shows. And it's crazy all these years later. Yeah, I get to do it for a living. And literally, I, we're all over the place. Like, mm -hmm. I've almost hit all 50 states now, just like whether it's touring or like we're going out on this radio tour right now. And I think we're hitting 150 stations. Over the next three months, you're kidding. So it's so now now in yeah. between the radio stops, are you playing music? Or are you like uh, you know? Yeah, you know what? We're actually yeah, we're playing. We we have some shows, uh, some stuff that was even previously booked before we booked the radio tour. They were having to coordinate like oh like we're out in like Arkansas and we have to get up to Minnesota for a show, so we'll like drive up to Minnesota and have the band come out of Nashville mm -hmm. and meet us there. It's like uh, a, a lot of coordinating. Well, let's talk. Yeah. Well, let's let's learn a little yeah. bit about Dylan for those of you who are just coming to Dylan. Now, your bio. Yeah. First thing in it, didn't grow up on a farm, doesn't drink. Yeah. So it's like, now you might think to yourself, well, how does that make you country? And I'm like, well, no, man. There are a lot of country folks who didn't necessarily grow up on a farm and certainly don't drink. Yeah. Um, but going to the Pacific Northwest, what were you listening to? What drew you to country music? Well, like I said, ever since I was a little kid, I love music. Uh, I grew up in a family that. They took me to concerts all the time. I, I grew up listening to all sorts of music. Um, being from Seattle, you listen to a lot of rock and roll. Like mm -hmm. I love okay. Tom Petty, I love Bruce Springsteen, John Mellencamp. Um, Who are also yeah. icons of a lot of country. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. Um, and you know what? I I mean, all across the board, I love music. But I think ever since I was a kid, I was writing songs. Yeah. Um, ever since I was probably about 10 or 11. And uh, I think that uh, what drew me to country music from the get-go, because I've been really encapsulated in country music for the last 10 years of my life um and it was a songwriting it was really like, yeah really just like i feel like you get a whole nother level of songwriting from country music okay so yeah. uh then talk to us about some of the some of the songwriters or songs that you would look at and you said th those are examples of, of what made me want to do this absolutely you know some of the some of the first guys that really pulled me in um were guys like eric church or or will hogue or, oh wow, um, Will Hogue. Uh, yeah. Even if it breaks your heart, I believe. Yes, uh, Eli Young band song. Yeah. Will Hogue wrote that. Yep, yeah. yeah. yep. Chris Stapleton. I mean, he's been oh, a songwriter in Nashville yeah. for years. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, I, I feel like they just they they're not just writing songs. They're writing songs that have such a strong meaning to mm -hmm. them, and I I love that. So that's what yeah. you in your yeah. songwriting. That's what you're going for. You're, um, and I'm not saying that yeah. there's like uh, there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with like yeah. just the hey let's have fun in the sunset. No, there's, there's absolutely there's, that. There's, a, but, there's something, yeah, everybody needs to have all sorts of songs like that to cover all across the board, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you, yeah. in your music, because uh, yeah. if you take a song like In America, which yeah. has got a great, it's got a great tempo, uh, and it's a, I think it's a really thoughtful look at um, just sort of like the American experience, but it's not even necessarily limited to 21st century American experience. It's like the very first line in the song is like, you know, basically kids graduating from high school at yeah. 18. That's always been the case. So it's like we start with this 
universal image of like, hey, this is kind of how it's always worked, and this is kind of America always, America then, now, and yeah. tomorrow. So, um, when you t- what what was going through your mind when you wrote in America? Yeah, I mean, I think it's one of those things. Like, like I said, I graduated high school and I literally hit the road with one of my best buddies, and we we traveled playing shows everywhere we could down the West Coast mm-hmm. at the time, um, and you, like. When you're young, you know, you know, you don't know all these different places across the country. You've never seen it before, and so it's just this whole new experience of, mm-hmm. of being to see all these new cultures and all these different places, meet all these different people, and um, yeah, like I think that's something everybody should do at least once in their lifetime. Just get out and not just like not just take like an airplane and go from from Nashville to New York City and just see like mm-hmm. those two places, but you see everywhere in between, which is amazing. It's a story of personal yeah. growth. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so, but so the album is everything on the album. That I mean, what what else can listeners expect? Yeah, you know what? This whole record as a whole, um, I like to say it's twenty five years in the making because uh-huh. I I've been writing these songs ever since I was a kid, and um, basically, I I my dad my my parents had got me this uh, little eight track recorder uh, that I basically took in my room and I would record me playing these songs with the acoustic guitar. I'm, I'm literally old enough to remember yeah. using one on the right. Like that was yeah. all I had was the eight track tape. Yeah. Yeah. So I had one of those and I literally, um, I had all these different instruments that I started collecting as a kid and I try to put them in the songs and make this full production. And that's kind of carried with me through all the years. Um, but it wasn't until this new record that I decided to go all in and do everything myself on it. So I'm literally like, I wrote all the songs, played all the instruments, produced, engineered, you name it. Wow, how many yeah. instruments do you play? Like, that you would feel yeah. comfortable on stage going, just give me that, I'm gonna do I that. think I think be, uh, yeah. playing them all on stage is something I've never done before, so I'm sure that would be a little nerve wracking. But uh, really anything you can put in my hands, I can probably really? figure out. So if I handed you a mandolin? Yeah, absolutely, I play mandolin on In America. All right, ban- banjo. Yeah. Um, Didgeridoo. I've never played didgeridoo. We, I, we I even found <laughs> something that Dylan Jacobson does. A did, of course, out of you know, you could bring yeah. the didgeridoo to country. Would, you know, you just it's, and in Australia they would love you for that. I would love <laughs> to. <laughs> but yeah, it's like okay. So the uh, obviously the multi talented yeah. uh, singer songwriter Dylan Jacobson. The album is I Am. The yep. single is In America. If you want to hear it, make sure you call us at Kicks96. We'll be happy to play it for you. And on his next album, maybe we can get him to put a didgeridoo track on there. Yeah, be on the lookout for that one. We're coming 2020. <laughs> I, I have a feeling he's actually going to try this. So <laughs> I'm um, going to go on eBay and see how much didgeridoo <laughs> costs after this. You do know what a didgeridoo is. Yeah, I'm going to add them to my watch list. That's you do, you do what it, does, does I, anybody know I what a I think I'm kind, I'm kind of picturing it in my mind. Do All you, right, you blow into it. Yes, it's okay. like okay. Have you seen in in Australia the guys with the big yeah. long like they look like logs and they blow in them like this and it. <laughs> yeah, that's how. Of course, they like, sound more awesome than what I just did. It's gonna start with a big didgeridoo call. <laughs> <at the> beginning. <laughs> yes, those. Yes, and if you put that man, I just. Please just, I want somewhere in your liner notes, like, thanks to Fletch for the idea of the didgeridoo. Yeah, right. Something like that. Anything like it'll that. Be, it'll not only be the first didgeridoo song to country radio, but it'll also be the first didgeridoo, didgeridoo number one <laughs> to country radio. <laughs> See? We're making history here. You want to be here. We're going to didgeridoo it. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Please don't call the song didgeridoo it. Please, that is not a song title. Didgeridoo don't. So, uh, Dylan, if they want to find you on the internet, where they look. Anywhere you can spell my name right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, that's D Y A L no D Y L A N Dylan yep. D Y L A N. Yep. Now Jacobson is J O K J A K J A. Dang it! See, <laughs> it's like um, yeah. it's, you're you are the whole population. I am. Yeah. Gosh, I think for the I think for the first year I knew you, I called you Jacob Dillonson. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And one time, one time I actually got announced on a festival as Jacob Dylan from the Wallflowers. So it, no. <laughs> They were. They must have been very upset when I showed up and I did not play one headlight. Oh, you yeah. should have still played one headlight. I should have. You really That's a great song. <laughs> yeah. Dylan Jacobson. Just, <laughs> you know what? Just look yeah. here below you and you'll see his name spelled correctly yeah. and links to his social media. <laughs> You're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook? Absolutely. All, All of them. All right. Dylan Jacobson, yeah. I Am is the album in America is the single calls of Kicks 96 Tell. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. All right. We'll yeah. see you next time in another artist video blog at kicks96country.com.